Hey folks, welcome back to another video. <laughs> um, recently someone asked me about my note wrapping tool, how I build it and why it works. So I want to explain this in this video. Um, it's super dry. I only explain things. There's no music in it. So go away. But if you stick around, then you learn something about the grid, probably. How to misuse modules and why something works and how I think about um, different things when I build something in the grid. Okay, so what's my mindset about it? So I would say, let's go. The key to this preset is basically the wrap module itself by, uh, by Bitwig here. And this is a, a, a module for wrapping values to um, the phase range. And so it's, it's made basically for uh, phase signals, but I misused it for using it for pitch uh, values. And to show you or to visualize what's happening, I use an oscilloscope here. It may be a value. Okay. So let's go here with the value into the oscilloscope and just turn the knob. You can see we go from 0 to 1. We can also switch this here to bipolar, of course. So we can go negative to minus 1, plus 1, 0. Okay. So we have all values available with this value knob. When we go for pitch values, they are a bit different. They have the same value range in the oscilloscope, of course, but they mean different things. For instance, C3 is always zero. Go down to E minus seven. Then you're basically here at the bottom by at, at minus one. And if you go up here, four octaves, I don't know, G13. Uh, C, C13 here, you are at um, plus one. So different values in here mean the different things. So instead of having here percentage, here we have um, for each percentage or for each value at this oscilloscope here, we get a different node. We can also put a readout here at the end and switch this to... Uh, Parts here, so we can read out the notes. So when we put here in the value, you can see we have C3, and when you pull this down, we are at C minus seven, and plus we are at seven, uh, C13. So it's basically the same. Instead of this using this, it's completely the same. The only difference is that here we have the uh, value mapped to the notes, and here we have percentage values so the units change basically but the signal is the same and um, different values are mapped to different keys that's that's the whole point of it so there's no difference between these two signals maybe the color is different so this also this also changes so what we want to do now is basically when we go up here with the keys on our keyboard we want to we don't want to go up to plus one. What we want to do is when we reach, for instance, C4, um, let me go here. When we reach C4, everything above C4, C sharp four, for instance, we want to pitch down one octave to C sharp three. So we never exceed basically the C4 range. So we want to wrap the notes inside only one octave doesn't matter what, what pitch you input, we always want to end up on the same um, octave, which is between C3 and C4. So um, to do this, you can go the manual route where you just logic, logic, logic check uh, the values and say everything that's above C4, uh, transpose it down one octave, right? But it's not... It's not sleek, it's not nice to code because you need a lot of transposing modules to pitch it down for each octave and you need to pitch it up for each octave below C3. So it's not good to do, to do and it's not um, efficient. 
Um, so what I'm doing here is I'm using the wrap module and I saw how this behaves. So instead of going in here to plus one and minus one, you go into the wrap module and see what comes out. You can see the first change is we never go negative, even though we put in negative values, as you can see here uh, at minus uh, 86. So normally we would be here, but the wrap module um, doesn't allow you to do this. In, instead, it wraps the value into the positive range. So if we go up here, we go to plus one and then we switch back to um, the zero line here. And when we go down, it actually jumps up to here and goes down from there. So this is the first uh, thing to know how this wrap module um, basically works. And um, we can utilize this a bit to um, change our behavior. So maybe we, um, we put in here um, B to uni. So instead of letting this wrap module at the side and put everything into the upper octave, we use the B to uni um, module to do this beforehand. So nothing really changes, but um, we already did this here, so we can apply something to the full range signal uh, beforehand and uh, also after something happens. So we can also do here a backward conversion. So we switch back to uh, bipolar mode. So now it's basically like before. But the thing is, everything that goes above plus one and minus one is wrapped into here. So I can't really show this, I think. Um, I have to use here constant because the constant goes above one. So here we are at zero, okay. So let's see, we go up, we go up, we go up. And then we, when we reach one, we jump down. Okay, and then we are at the zero line again uh, with the value of two. Then we go up, we go up, we go up. And then we are back at minus one here. Okay, so this wrap mod module basically helps us to wrap everything into this space plus one and minus one instead of just using the values here on this uh, input so you can see one is up there and when we go higher than one basically nothing happens because the value go above here or somewhere here right we don't want that we want actually to jump with the line here to minus one so we use the wrap module and this helps us then to wrap the values in this minus one to plus one range. So all we need to do is basically to tell the grid that um, we need to size or rescale um, the range uh, because up here it's pitch value or technically pitch values up here are C13 and way down here we are at C minus seven or something. So that's too much. We want to scale it down into this range here, right? Maybe plus uh, 0.25 or something, which is then C4. So we have to scale it. That's all we have to do now because this wrapping module works and um, only the range is wrong. So um, we do this a bit by multiplication and um, division. So we scale basically the, the values. So let me do a multiplication here. And we use um, another constant. So we increase the signal that it's when it's at one way higher. In fact, in fact, twice as high or 
four times as high. And yeah, we need to divide here. Basically, everything we scale up here, we scale down here again. Okay. So now we scaled our range already down to this range here. So when we exchange this here again for the pitch module, just the same values, it's just that we have here basically now pitch. You can see that when we also pass a certain line, it's actually F5. Then the next value jumps down to here, which is F sharp zero. So instead of F sharp five, we get F sharp zero. It's exactly what we want. We go down here to F zero, it jumps up to F five. So it's exactly the opposite way. So we already have here now a note wrapper that gives us only notes in one octave or two octaves or three octaves, I'm not sure, right? Um, but we can input a lot of higher notes, but we get only the same note basically in one octave or two octaves. Um, so that's exactly what we want. So it's basically just using the wrap module here to um, yeah, make this parameter jump and using multiplication and division here to scale the signal down from plus one to minus one to plus 0 0.25 to minus 0 0.25. So it's basically just scaling. Um, and the next uh, thing we can do is maybe to change. Yeah, basically the, that's it. That's the main reason to do this. Um, when you have your different multiplication value and division value, then you end up sometimes on different nodes, which is not what you want. C5, C5, C1. Okay. It's important that's the same node, right? That's what you want. Um, the number that octave can change, but the the node should be sh stay the same. C1 becomes C5. Nice. I think the division here or this number uh, needs to be in the um, uh, quantized to 5. So it's only 5, 10 and so on to end up on the same node. So if you are not, you need to check it basically. We jump here, C2, C sharp 2 becomes C sharp 2. A4 becomes A2, that's okay. F6 becomes F2. So basically, this is this is the whole magic uh, with the note wrapper. Um, the only thing I added is basically that you can change the range here. Um, I added some math to change the yeah that you can change the axis where you want to move out this because um, it's all based around C three, which is the middle value here. Um, so sometimes you don't want to. Right, wrap around C3, which is the middle point, you want to offset, you want to have it maybe uh, a bit higher, so maybe F, F3 or something. What you can do to change this is to use transpose. And you transpose up the nodes in front, and then you transpose it down afterwards. Um, so, um, let's see, value. Go. 
And then we go at 12 up, 12 down. So the, the same amount we pitch up here, we pitch down there. Now we can see when we here move fast to this, we, we wrap around a different point or different value. It's not the middle line anymore. Maybe we do here even more. Um, let's arrange. You can see now we wrap here at this position, which is a minus value. Also wrap uh, up here. So you can basically change the, the axis of rotation or the axis of mirroring the, the line. So this is what I did. Um, this is the math behind it and my, my thought process. I basically utilized the wrap module, which is usually uh, used for phase signals to wrap node signals because every signal in the grid is the same. It's the same thing. It's just different colors and sometimes um, different mappings. So different values mean different things when you put it in this or that module. But usually you can exchange all this for different modules and use it. You can even use the spent module, right? If you want to check this um, in here and then change the value or the signal even a bit more to get some surprising effects. So at this point, I'm pretty sure no one actually watches anymore. All people clicked away on the sidebar in YouTube to a different video, a nice shiny plugin that you can just install and um, it's ready to go and gives you some nice sounds. Um, but if you still do, then I like you. And please leave a like on my video. I mean, why not? Thanks for watching and I see you in the next video. Bye.